Maybe a nice Not sunrise. Yeah, yeah. Okay. gorgeous Let's sunrise. See. You got Ooh, it. See, there oh, you go. Very nice. And it's 514 and the sun's already up over the horizon. So some of our earliest sunrises of the year this time of year. And we're going to see a lot of sunshine this morning. And then as we get into the afternoon, just like yesterday, those clouds are going to build and we're going to see a couple of showers kind of pop up and pass through and then the sun will come back out as we get into the evening hour. So a heads up on that. Maybe a good idea to have an umbrella with you today so you don't get caught in it. Mainly dry for the weekend, although by Sunday evening, rain is going to get back in here and it's going to be with us here for the first part of next week. Right now, just 45 in Worcester. Kind of a chilly start this morning. 40 showing up. Plymouth, orange as well. Boston 57. It is 58 on the Cape as you're stepping out. But the skies are mainly clear and the winds are light. There's no fog out there. It's a really nice morning. But what we're watching here is back to the west, spinning around this big upper level low. A little disturbance that's going to drop in this afternoon, and this is going to be the trigger for those showers and thunder showers that start to pop on up. So as we go through your day, 8 o'clock, temperatures running near 60 degrees by lunchtime. Temperatures are up near 70 with those building clouds. And then by the time you're driving home this afternoon, there'll be some scattered showers and thunderstorms around, but the temperatures should be in the lower 70s. In fact, we're looking at highs in the lower 70s, pretty close to our average high for this time of year, which is now 72. We should be there around Lawrence, 71 Boston, 73 Marshfield, just a little bit cooler through the Worcester Hills and on the Cape where it stays in the 60s today. So let me step you through the day. Fast forward to 2 o'clock this afternoon, and there you go. Couple of showers popping on up and some thunderstorms embedded here. And because it's very cold aloft, some of these could contain some small hail, but they pass on through between 2 and about 6 p.m. Once we get deeper into the evening hours, you can see how they're winding down after sunset, and the sky should clear out overnight. At least partial clearing is expected. Tonight, our temperatures are down in the 40s and lower 50s, and tomorrow, not quite as mild as today, upper 60s to near 70 degrees. There'll be a fair amount of clouds around in the morning, but blending with the sunshine throughout the day. I think the skies brighten up a little bit more later tomorrow afternoon. Sunday may start with some sunshine, but then the clouds are going to build. And look at this as we go into Sunday night and Monday, another storm system approaching. This is going to have about a half an inch to an inch of rain with it. And with that easterly wind setting up early next week, it's going to be cool and damp. Highs only in the upper 50s before we start to trend back closer to average by the middle and end of next week. Okay. So. New month, same sort it of is June, pattern. Right? Although, you know, yesterday was great and today really nice through about lunchtime. Okay, well.